Hey there, it's been a while since the last one of these walkthrough videos, but I wanted to quickly share something that I've done today with uh, ChatGPT. So I wanted to walk you through how I sometimes, it's not always, but sometimes I use this process to write my newsletter or any other piece of content I may want to write. Um, and I wanted to share because a lot of people have this misconception with writing using AI. So a lot of people think you just prompt AI like, hey, write me this blog post or write me this tweet and AI is going to shit out magic, right? So that's not working very well, probably if you tried. So I wanted to share with you my process, which I think it's probably the best way to use AI, which Simply, it's using AI as a thought partner. So basically using AI to help you think better, which in turn translates to writing better. I'm, I've been interviewing a couple, actually a lot of junior copywriters for a position that I'm hiring for. And I've been asking them, hey, do you use AI? How much tools do you use? I could say that probably 5% of the guys and girls that I've interviewed use AI and those who use it mainly use ChatGPT free version. And let me tell you, for 10 bucks a month, if you're not using it, you are doing a big disservice. So to this video, I want to show you how I wrote my newsletter today, this morning, which it's kind of the end of a process of thinking and going through my thought process for my the premise behind my brand, which means what's the big idea behind my brand. So in short, let me show you. This is ChatGPT. So this is the chat that I've been working in, which is called Premise Exploration. Uh, it's quite a long chat, so you'll see there's a lot of stuff at the top, but I got to this point, basically asking questions, trying to refine my ideas. And this is the main point. Use ChatGPT not to write, but to think, to ask it questions, uh, write stuff to it, iterate on your ideas. So I've gotten to my three main premises. So uh, the, 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 the idea behind Conversion Alchemy is to combine copy, UX, and decision-making psychology. So for each one, I have these three, I have this premises, right? So for copy, we don't read words, we unpack meaning. For UX, great copy can't resonate if it can be found. Psychology, you're not selling a product, you're selling a decision. So what I did here this morning was, okay, I asked a couple of other iterations, and then I basically started asking, let's say I want to explore and start asking, answering these questions in my newsletter, right? And ChatGPT obviously started basically writing the newsletter for me. So what I did again here was to tell it, I don't want you to tell me what to do, but rather to help me figure out how to do it by making me think better and more clearly through it. So I can arrive at my own conclusion through exploring curiosities, right? So this is kind of the approach, the underlying approach that I would recommend. You can see that ChatGPT already started suggesting ideas, different prompts, different questions to ask myself and a lot of good stuff. What I did next was, because it basically started asking me also questions at the same time, I wanted to ask questions one at a time so that I could, it, kind of like an interview, right? ChatGPT asked me, asked me a question, I reply, another question and so on. Kind of like having a conversation with AI. So you can see here, it basically started, started asking me questions and I replied. So first question was, what do you think happens when someone successful unpack, successfully unpacks the meaning behind words? How might their interpretation differ based on their context? And why does it matter when you craft copy? So I basically gave my answer step by step. Uh, what happens? It's basically when someone unpacks meaning behind the words, it's something, something clicks inside them. It's kind of saying like, yes, this is for me. Next, ChatGPT was asking me, what do you think influences whether someone can easily unpack meaning behind beyond just the words? And I basically replied, yes, yeah, so all those, those, what basically influences how people unpack meaning is experiences, emotional state at the moment, how primed they are by other messages, which 
it came to me at the time, this is similar to the idea of information sent that you will find in UX design. <clears throat> so obviously your knowledge as you reply, answer ChatGPT's questions is gonna vary. You might not know certain things, but that's the beauty of it, right? ChatGPT should help you recognize and spot the areas where you don't know enough so that you can learn about it and investigate and follow your curiosity. So moving down, ask me more questions. How would you start thinking about that in your copy process? I will probably think in terms of stage of awareness, sophistication, we dove into a lot of stuff, right? And then I shared more. How I adjust the strength and clarity of information sent at each stage of awareness. And then I kind of created examples for problem aware personas, which was, it's kind of like there's an agitation and a maintenance work required to sustain the current level of awareness. So lots of different ideas that popped up as I was answering ChatGPT's prompts. So yeah, lots of questions, ChatGPT suggesting a lot of stuff and at the end, so I considered this, so you can see that it was still asking me questions. So I will probably pick this chat up again some other time when I have to write, want to write something else. But what I did next was, okay, I have this interview, right? So this is kind of like an interview. So GPT is interviewing me. So what I did was to copy paste all of this stuff here, paste it into another chat, separate chat that didn't have any of the context or very little. Copy the chat here at the top. And I, I had this idea, I kind of combined it with something that recently happened. So my girlfriend is learning Italian. She basically was asking me, how do you understand the gender in nouns in Italian, which it's not an English thing, but it's a thing in Italian. Nouns have feminine and male gender, female and male gender. So I kind of connected that idea with the idea of unpacking meaning that I was exploring. And you can see that I basically asked ChatGPT to write a newsletter using the following interview and this hook idea. So I kind of explained the idea that I had for the hook. I shared two screenshots so that he could look at those. And then I pasted the other chat, which is the interview, right? With all of this, ChatGPT started writing my newsletter piece. So this is still kind of crap. And you would see if you're used to writing yourself, you would see that it's not great, but it gives, uh, it basically helps connecting all the ideas in a way that makes sense as if you've done the job upfront. And it might also give you a couple of new ideas that you didn't think about, right? So this, I would consider it a 50%, five out of 10, probably. I did a couple of other iterations here, specifying things. No, I'm Italian. Add how this originally is originally a UX idea. So you can see that you can quote pieces. What else? And this requires momentum too. So you can see a couple of iterations. Then I picked kind of the final version or different parts that I liked. And I added them to an empty, empty document, right? So the empty document, I use this other app. It's called Lex by the guys Every. Shout out, uh, not sponsored. I basically pasted the, the, the empty newsletter from ChatGPT here and I started editing. Obviously, what you see here is the final version, but I went through a lot of edits. So what you see here is very different from what you will see in ChatGPT. But still, this, I kind of wanted to walk you through the process that I've used, right? So you could see that from thinking together with ChatGPT, asking the right questions, connecting your own personal ideas to what ChatGPT provides, you can basically come up with something very unique, original, and with your own editing skills, you can fine tune it, polish it, and make it something really good. So hopefully this was helpful. I kind of want to start changing how people think about using AI, right? Because it, as I mentioned, it's not a set and forget prompt and go kind of thing, right? It's use it to improve your thinking, not to replace your thinking. If this is helpful, let me know in the comment comments below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, click like, all of those good things. 
if you want to learn how I use other AI tools, so I use a couple, right? So I have ChatGPT, I have Claude, I have Google Gemini 1.5, I have this one is Spiral by Every, I have Notebook LM, I have different use cases for all of these different AI LLMs, different models. So if you're curious and want to learn my processes, just let me know in the comments and make sure that you tune into the channel. Cheers.